this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I have another Amazon painting. I know I explained before that Amazon has third-party sellers so when you're buying these paintings they're not necessarily coming from Amazon they're coming from other people who sell on Amazon. Um, so this one is from a company called Bayland Collection. So what this one's going to look like and I'm obsessed with roosters is this. Looks like this photo is super nice quality. It's got our swatches. Everything is numbered. Um, it has a reference guide. It was folded, but it's not. It's not like I'm not even gonna have to iron it. I think it's because this is like a slick, textured fabric on the back that I'm not gonna have to iron it because it looks like it's kind of flattening itself out. So that's a good thing. Um, let me go ahead and point out the numbers are very bold and the lines are red. So the numbers are black, but they're bold. So I don't know how well these paints are going to cover. I've never had a painting from this company. Um, and so I just wanted to give you a review and tell you whether it was worth it or not. This one's going to be like this fabulous oil painted looking rooster. And I have another one coming in that's going to match this one from another company. And I can't remember who I ordered it from. Imagine that. Okay, so let's test a few paints. This canvas has very deep pores on it, so it's gonna probably take a couple of layers for me to get the paint to cover without gesso. So as you know, I will be adding gesso to this piece before I paint it. But for the review, I'm going to not gesso it, and we're just gonna test a few paints. Now, of course, of course, you guys know this whole entire palette, with the exception of the purple and this kind of blue gray, look like they're gonna be transparent paints. And I hope that's not the case because I really, really want this one to be pretty and hang it in my kitchen. Um, but we're gonna test these paints because at this point I'm a little scared. So 15 is a deep red, and you guys know deep red can be a tricky little booger. All right, let's check these paints. Gonna definitely need some flow aid for sure. So with gesso, it might be a different story. It's pretty much semi opaque. 17 and 18 actually look like they're gonna be tricky ones as well. So let's try it though. 17 is a very deep green. These can be so difficult as well. And I'm not doing it because they're difficult. I'm doing it because I wanna see if the difficult colors are okay. That gave really, actually pretty good coverage. Let's try 18. It, but I keep my expectations low um, so that if it is very good that it will surpass what I thought it was gonna be <laughs> but this one is not gonna be bad I don't think at all and that paint covered very well I mean I am having to go back over <clears throat> to smooth out the you know the strokes and all now because our rooster is predominantly these reds. I'm going to try one more red, 14, and see how I like it. Right. That one covered really well too. It's a very pretty bright red. So I feel like gesso will make the, a world of difference and I'm not as nervous about this palette as I was before. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to continue to bring you some videos so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future and um, I will see you back soon. Thanks as always for watching. <laughs>